Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Today we're going to do a uh, thought experiment in logic. In logic about magnets. This is a magnet. That's one pole. That's another pole. Apparently, let's call this north, this south, this is the inertial line, or the block wall. This is what mainstream science says happens. North field comes out and goes into the south field and the south field comes out and goes into the north field now what happens let me take another magnet and we put two light poles together they attract and scrunch down okay that's going to just oop, Pull that down and into it. So a north field whoop, and a south field. They are now squashed together. So here's the logic of the situation. Here's a new magnet. Here's what I say and have shown with my scroll lock video. The logic of this is that north and south want to meet. I've shown this on video in my ferro cell videos, so if you want to go through those you will see this exact shape in one of them. But the north field comes out of here, and the south field comes out of here, and they scroll together. Right there. The size is not a replication, uh, not to scale, because this south field cannot bypass this north field. Okay? It can't go round it. Broke my magnet, but I don't care. That's an easy example. The south field can't bypass the north field. The north field and the south field are attracted to each other, as I just proved. So there is no logical way. This south field can bypass the north field and go into the north. It must do this. I've said there are two fields. Two fields, at least, on either side, north and south. So what's... So this also has a south, and this also has a north. Here the north is dominant, the south is subservient. I can't remember the other word. Here the south is dominant, north is inferior, whatever you want to call it. So when the south is trying to come around to the north to lock into it, which it must do on the inertia line, which creates the block wall, well that field is going to get pushed away. This south field pushes away this field and makes the supposed vortex when really this would be the air glass figure and the donut I've already shown that this donut is not a donut and there's one on either side there's one here and there's one here because of the fact that they scroll up because they also have to pass here and here on either side of the magnet so this shape that other people think is part of this is the opposite field this is the north field, this is the south field, this is the north field, and this is the south field. And they are doing exactly what is expected. The north scrolls into the south, the south field gets pushed away, and so is up. The south field goes into the north, but the north field forces away the north field. So you get your 
hyperboloid and your torus, which don't exist. It's to do with waves, because this wave of south and this wave of north are attached to each other. But there's many of them that spin around all the way to give you what looks like a torus. Which then again, as I've shown on the video, there are two toruses on a magnet, because one is the south, one is the north, and they're linked here and here. They cannot pass each other. To pass each other would be to defeat the logic of magnets. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ and I'm trying to tell you how things really work as he showed me. Thanks very much. Bye.